Yo, Atomic Hub has now launched on AOS and you can now with great user interface create your own NFTs on AOS. So let's just dig right into it. Let's go, we are here, we, this is Atomic Hub. On here you can see that there's our, our 51 NFTs created. This is even before it is launched. Uh, we can see that Uplift Art has created some NFTs and they are created by M Blue. He has this Uplift Nation, which is this charity organization that, that is a DAC on AOS. So this is awesome. If you go in, you can actually look at these NFTs. There is some certificate. You can look at the ID. Everything here is very transparent, very easy to, to look at all this information. Uh, you have a market where you can find uh, NFTs listed. Uh, you have the, the, the trading place where you can send them. You can create links that you can send to people that they can claim NFT from you. But we, what we will do now is go to the NFT creator. So first you need to log in in the, in the top corner and I'm currently logged in with annual.cash. And now we're going to create the collection. Collection is like a brand. It's the name of your, of your um, uh, NFT collection, so to speak. So I will use annual.cash because this is the account that I own. So I can do that. Otherwise you can use any 12 character, one to five, eight to C name that isn't an account already on EOS. So if you have an account, you can use your own account name, of course. Display name if it was, it will be called publicly. So I will write any observation, which is the name of my content. And we can have uh, annual.io here. We can have a market fee, which is the fee that uh, I will take for any NFTs traded that I have created. So any observation, observation uh, creates blockchain content on YouTube, Twitter and podcast. Check it out. And here I can set the collection photo and I will set my own little uh, edited photo. And this is created by Mblue Crypto as well. And here, let's see if uh, every, if my wallet likes me right now, or if I have to redo this. Yeah, here we see the pop-up coming. And the cash, we see everything is correct. Let's allow that. Hardware error. Open the EOS Ledger app. Okay, I'm already opening this. Okay, let's, I guess, decline it. It's just scatter issues. Scatter is always this horrible experience. Okay, let's check it now when we confirm it. It was not asleep. Here we have the confirmation. This was not Atomic Hub issue. It was scatter issue and ledger issue. And here, now we have a collection. So if I go back, we see I have a collection. I have zero NFTs. If I go into here, I can see everything market fee. I can edit this collection. I can actually add other accounts that can, can create NFTs in my own collection, which is good if you have a brand like, like Uplift uh, Art. Perhaps he has multiple people working and they can all create NFTs inside that collection. But now we will create a schema. And if we take NFTs and we take a game, for example, the collection will be Counter-Strike Go. That is a collection name, a brand. So that is uh, what that would be called. And then we have Schema. And Schema is like, that would be a weapon in, in uh, CSGO. So this would be like the AK-47. So my first Schema name will be, uh, let's see what I can, I can make. I can write Sub uh, Specials. That, that, that sounds perfect. We have a name attribute uh, that is a text format. We have an image and then I can set another one if I want. So I will set some info and then I can uh, set here. I can set it as text and I can add more if I want. And, and this can also be updated uh, later if I want. And then I can just create schema here. Let's see if I get this pop up. You see name, image and info. Uh, yes, this is correct. Let's find the ledger. Let's confirm this. And Okay, I had two transactions to confirm. There, it's done. And now we have this created. Uh, and here I can actually mint an asset directly or I can use a template and a template. So if we go back and explain this once again. So here is the collection that will be Counter-Strike Go. Then we have the, the schema that will be the type of weapon. For me, this is an observation, it's my content. This is a special series of NFTs. And in this special, I can have a template. And template here will actually be 
uh, this one so i have an image this is the thumbnail for this episode max supply i can set the max supply here and let's make this really rare let's make this 10 so i cannot create more than 10 of these that is a uh, in the code uh, i can't change that i can set it that it can't be burned i can set it that it can't be transferred but i want both of these transferred so name any observation or well, let's do it like this uh, create nfts on eos like the, the name of this uh, episode will be. Uh, Atomic Hub has now launched on EOS and any ob observation has made a tutorial on how you can create NFTs using Atomic Assets and Atomic Hub on EOS. Check it out on youtube.com slash c slash any observation perfect and now you can see that i'm a little bit hide, hidden behind the the image but then you just create this template you shake everything is good schema name is specials transferable this looks good and we shake my ledger confirm it and now this is created so now I have set this up as well so I can go back and now I see that there is actually a template here and the image is uploaded to IPFS so it's stored in a decentralized way. I can see that this is this is template 7 right now on EOS because they have tested it and make sure it works. And here special I can actually add an attribute here if I want that will not be in this template because it didn't exist before but I can, I can go and I can uh, add things here. Uh, but I'm not going to do that instead I'm going to go here assets mint new assets. And then here I can actually choose this information all the time, but I have a template, so I'm going to load this template. And we see everything here is loaded directly. And account name that I want to send them to will be, uh, let's uh, use my own account here, so any, anyone, anyo.cash. And right now I will mint all 10 of them in one go. Uh, I can, so if, if I just remove this 10, you can see there's number 1 to 10. So I can just do this, mint 10. Create this, I see this is, uh, everything looks uh, looks good here. And I can confirm this and I get my pop-up first on, on here. And I can see now I need to, you see there's 10 mint asset actions. So I will actually have a lot of uh, actions to confirm on my ledger. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Everything here you can do in a terminal if you plan to do a lot of NFTs, but this is just one way you can do this. And you see transaction successful, successful. Now if I, you see, I got the notification. I have actually have some NFT. If, if I go to my inventory, uh, let's see. Okay, they, they probably have an update with the, with the API here. Probably that is because this, this does not really exist anymore. Yeah, I'm gonna, I, I, want to clear, I want to clear this, this log. Uh, it will show up here as soon as it is live. Let's see if I can actually show it in the Explorer. Yeah, we see it in the Explorer, so that is good. Anio.cache. Okay, probably this is an API issue because I'm I'm using their development portal, but we can see they are actually here. Uh, they are created. They, you can see them here. Uh, and if I go into them here, I can I, you can see that I actually own them because I can create sale. I can put them up for uh, one EOS. I can co confirm that the mar maker market fee the taker fee is one percent and okay that is all good i can put this up and i need to confirm that i should get the pop-up on scatter i don't know why i don't get the pop-up on scatter right now there it is i allow scatter is laggy i confirm action confirm action again and poof it's up on the market if I close here, I should find it in this. Oh, I know this is only this is why I didn't see it. It's so I didn't show. I'm not verified. So if now I see them here as well in my inventory, you can see all here. And, and this was because uh, I was not a verified offer because I just created my first one. They have not verified me. So now anyone can go, actually go and buy this. So if I just go to my inventory again, we can go here and we can see on wax. The number one mint is the most rare one. So if I create the sale for this, I, I will create this for, for 10 EOS if anyone wants to grab it. Just for, for the sake of it, I get this pop-up. And let's see if I confirm this. Confirmation. I need to have another action. And this can also be smoother if you have set the custom permission, you don't need to use your ledger for everything. But if we go to market, we see that both are here. It's nothing strange. 
And when this episode is live, I will put up all 10 of these and whoever grabs them will be able to grab them. And in the future, I may mint more NFTs on EOS if there is any, any interest for it. So very simple, very powerful. If I would like to send this to someone, I can just go here and I can go to transfer. I can enter the account name of anyone. I can go in and I can send this. Let's send this to, uh, let's send uh, number nine to, to, to someone. Let's do it like this. Number, number two is sent to one of the comments below this video in a few days. So let's comment your EOS account and I will send this out on NFT on EOS for you to grab. So check it out, enjoy, create your own NFTs. Thank <laughs> you.